everybody, it's your girl Jazz here, back with another video. And today, I'm so excited. I've recently received an Ipsy Glam subscription bag. I'm going to be taking a look into it, reviewing the products, and see if it's worth it to subscribe. Before I start, I'm gonna give this video a big old thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't. So without further ado, let's get into this video. So I recently received the Ipsy Glam bag for the month of September. And this is what the bag looks like. It's really cute. It has the little eyelashes and the little gold detailing and then it's black. I do like that the makeup comes in a pouch and you can easily reuse it. You know, take put things in, take things out. You could use it for makeup or other things. Let's see what's in it. The question isn't who is going to let me, it's who is going to stop me. I like that. They got a cute little card some information on the back 30% cash back on all of these products and then it lists some products there first I have a brush good night 110 and it's red and black from Luxie and then next I have dirty little secret cosmetics bronzer and then next I have the Steve Laurent blush they have pretty packaging. Then I have the Thank Me Later Face Primer Mattifying, Elizabeth Mott. And last but not least, I have the Ap2 Healing Turmeric Mask, all skin types. And that is it. I have these, one, two, three, four, five products. So it looks like each glam bag would come with five or six products like these and let's give it a try. Okay, I'm just gonna do my makeup and test out these products. I'm gonna start with the Thank Me Later Face Primer. It is very mattifying. It did Ooh. dry out There's my like a wet film that came out of it a little bit, but it looks pretty thick. It definitely makes my face texture a little bit more smoother, which is what I was going for. That feels good. It feels light, so let's move on. So now I'm gonna try, I'm gonna use this little brush here, and I'm going to use that to blend out my concealer under my eyes. This brush is very dense, enough to really push the concealer into the skin and it gets right under the eye crevice really well. But it is a little, a little streaky to where I have to go over it. Next, I'm going to try Dirty Little Secret Cosmetics Bronzer in the color Skin Dip. In the beginning, they make you take a little quiz. You pretty much pick out of the options there, like what's your general skin tone color, but it's not very specific. If I can open it. Okay, I got it. Finally. Let's take a swatch. And it has some shimmer in it, which I would prefer my bronzer to be a little bit more matte. But let's let's try it. Can you see that? I don't know if it's picking up on the brush well. Oh, there we go. I mean, I've, I see myself having to reapply a couple of times. It seems like it's very much so warm, which I guess is what a bronzer is supposed to be. The shimmeriness in the pigment definitely shows a little bit more texture than I would like. That's my thing about this bronzer. If you don't want to show that much texture, this is not the first one I would reach for. Next, it's the Steve Laurent blush in the color I'm blushing. Oh, shoot. Okay. And it's a deep mauve color, berry tone, which I think will be good with my skin tone. So let's see. I'm not typically a blush person. This blush is very pigmented, so a little really goes Ooh, a long that's way. a lot. <laughs> I look like a clown. Clown goes. 
I put on a lot. I mean, I do like it. I did go a little bit overboard with the blush. Oh, <laughs> let me try to put the rest of my face on so I won't look so crazy. I'll be right back. So I'm back and this is the final look. Overall, I enjoy testing out these products. In this instance, I would prefer like a different version of the product. I think the idea of being sent a couple of new products every month seems interesting. Once you find that one thing, you don't really want to change it unless you find a better product. With these products, I mean, you possibly can find a hidden gem. The Ipsy subscription goes around $10 a month. That's $10 for five or six products every month. I mean, realistically, out of five or six products, I would more likely probably use two of them. You no, know, I've really always been like that. I have sensitive skin. I have acne sometimes and I don't wanna break out and I don't can like my skin flare up or irritate it because I'm trying new things too much. It really depends on the products. I read a product selection, then maybe I'd actually really consider subscribing and getting a monthly box, but for right now, based off of these products, I would rather spend my money to get some products that I actually like and enjoy So trying something new, if that makes sense. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Should I subscribe to Ipsy and get this monthly box, or should I look into other subscription plans that has other products? And this is it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Definitely make sure you subscribe if you are enjoying this content. And without further ado, until next time, stay awesome. <laughs>